To celebrate our 20th anniversary of Lakeland News, we are taking a look back at some of the memorable local stories we've covered over the years. We're calling it 20 for 20. 20 stories in all, one for each of the 20 years we've been on the air with Lakeland News. Now, Diamond Point Park in Bemidji is one of the iconic parks in the region. It's been a park since the early 1920s, and by 2002 it had become worn and in need of updating. After Bemidji residents voted for a half-cent sales tax, $3.3 million was put towards renovating the park. It reopened the public in May of 2008, and reporter Rachel Hagee brought us the story. Here's a portion of that story. After more than a year of anticipation, the newly refurbished Diamond Point Park reopened its gates today. Oh, it's terrific. Bemidji wants to be a, a tourist destination, and when tourists came to the old Diamond Point, they were pretty... Uh, frustrated by it. So this will leave a very fine impression. In conjunction with Minnesota's sesquicentennial, community members gathered to celebrate the completion of the $3.4 million project funded through a half percent sales tax. Today we are standing in a beautiful new park that represents the vision and dreams of our local taxpayers, community leaders, and residents. Welcome to your new Diamond Point. Diamond Point Park continues to be one of the jewels of the Bemidji Park system. You can watch that entire story on our website, lptv.org, tomorrow. And next Wednesday night, we take a look back at a story from 2009. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.